Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to install our bathtub conversion kit and share all the tips and tricks that make installation easier. If you've already bought your conversion kit, you can follow along with the printed instruction manual we've included in the package. Or if you're just watching to see how it works before you buy one, we're happy to have you here too. Let's get started. First, you'll want to gather all the tools we'll be using today. This will include masking tape, erasable whiteboard marker, not a permanent one, cardboard to protect your floor, a level, a measuring tape, drill, a jigsaw with a low tooth comb, a hammer, silicone, paper towel, a vacuum, and a silicone finishing tool. The first step is to prepare your area. Lay out cardboard on the floor in front of your tub, and inside your tub and tape it down. You'll be stepping on this and you don't want to get any silicone on there later on. Then the second step is to mark the placement of your kit. Place your kit on the wall of your tub exactly where you want it to be installed. Pay attention to the curvature of your tub. With an erasable marker, mark the sides of the kit on top of your tub wall. These will be the start of your cut lines. Apply tape roughly in the areas where you'll be making the cuts in the tub. The tape will protect the tub's finish. It holds the gel coat together and protects acrylic finishes. You should be able to see the two marks that were made on top of the tub wall through the tape. On the inside of the tub, mark your tape where the bottom of the kit will sit. Use a level to draw a straight line, level line for the cut line for the base of the kit. Measure the distance from this baseline to the top of the tub wall using a level. Make a line at the same height on the outside of the tub. Place the template back on the tub, ensuring it is level and lined up with the cut lines that were marked on top of the tub wall. and trace all edges onto your tub. Take a few minutes to make sure all your measurements are correct. Cut lines should be the same height and width apart on the inside and outside of your tub. Again, use a level for accuracy. Double check all your drawn cut lines. The lines need to be within a quarter inch tolerance. Now you're ready for step three, cutting your tub. Drill holes on each corner of your cut lines, inside and outside of the tub. This is where your jigsaw will make its first cut. If the corners are too low for your jigsaw, drill holes halfway up your cut lines instead. Using a jigsaw, saw the base cut lines first on the inside and outside of your tub. Then saw along the vertical cut lines from the bottom to top. Do not cut the top of the tub yet. Repeat these cuts on the inside cut lines. You can then cut along the lines on top of your tub wall. Remove the piece you just cut from the tub and lay your new kit in its place. Make sure it sits flat on the bottom edge. Take the kit out so you can put the stiffener boards in. Measure the width of your empty tub wall from the inside edge to the outside edge. Cut your base stiffener board to match this width.
If necessary, cut notches in the board where the tub walls are for a snug fit. Once you've made your cuts and the board fits snug, tap it into place with a hammer. One at a time, hold your side stiffener boards up to their new empty walls so you can just see the fiberglass edge of the tub. Trace the wall of the tub onto the side stiffener board that sticks out and along the top curve of the tub. Using these lines, saw the side stiffener boards to fit the inner walls. You may need to trim off a little more to make this fit. Tap them in place with a hammer. Now you'll need to use silicone to hold these boards in place. Before you get started with the silicone, vacuum up any debris that's around. You'll need to remove the boards you just hammered in. Line the inner edges of your exposed tub with silicone and replace your boards, again tapping them snug with your hammer. These are water entry points, so make sure to place a good layer on here. Liberally apply more silicone on the baseboard and sideboards. Then place the conversion kit in place. Take measurements to ensure the kit is installed evenly and square in the tub. Fasten the conversion kit in place by drilling the provided hardware into the holes in your kit. There's one hole at the bottom and one on each side. Wipe away the excess silicone with a paper towel in a motion that pushes the silicone back into the cracks. Now all that's left is the finishing touches. Remove your tape and clean the area thoroughly. Line the perimeter of the kit with a finishing bead of silicone. Fill your drilled holes with silicone and insert the provided hole plugs. Wipe off excess silicone with more paper towels. That's it. It's tempting to test out your new kit right away, but make sure you wait for the silicone to dry first. Allow the caulk to cure for 36 to 48 hours before filling the tub with water and at least 24 hours before showering. Consult caulk manufacturer's instructions for further curing time information. When you're ready, give Squeaker a high five and enjoy your tub.